Hey everyone, this is the upper box variations position. Um, moves d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6. And here bishop e2 without uh, knight f3. And um, then bishop g5. This is named after Yuri Averbuck. And um, this move bishop g5 prevents the uh, immediate e5. Here black usually plays h6, which also enables the later g5, but uh, that's practically a weakening move, so black usually doesn't play. Uh, g5. If white's bishop backs down to e3, and if white plays queen d2 to double up um, on this diagonal, then uh, white plays king h7 to, pr to protect this uh, hx pawn uh, once more. And um, white's ideas are, for example, queen d2, knight f3, or uh, also pawn f4, um, probably after the bishop has retreated, and uh, or even h4. But black usually gets a good game with moves such as c5 or knight to d7 or even knight to a6, preferred by Judith Polgar. And I would be interested to explore this a little bit, since the theory is not very, uh, very profound. So c5, white answers with the usual d5. There's this h6 move and bishop f4. Um, uh, looks to be better than bishop e3 actually and here black strikes at the center again and white willingly takes on e6 now black has this weakness here um, black never takes with the uh, f pawn I guess that would weaken g6 too much. And here white can take on d6 and where is black's compensation? I guess we will see soon. Perhaps the e4 pawn will fall. Uh, the d4 square is often weak in the white's position in the king's indian. and the d6 is weak in black's camp often e5 and this looks really good for white it's mostly a draw but there are almost no black wins so let's see if we can find a line that would um, favor black more otherwise I'm gonna start playing this arbor back variation against King's Indian if uh, if there's no um, really good uh, response from black side Um, Jin just really made, um, also um, covered this, this variation in his 8 or 9 part series about the King's Indian defense and uh, also mentioned some interesting variations. But so black has other options like knight a6, 
uh, that looks good in results a little bit better than c5 and uh, well h6 here is also very popular and uh, a6 looks really good let's look at knight a6 a little bit and a6 perhaps here queen d2 d5 and again striking at the center is this really black's best plan i guess in this upper back system black doesn't try to play f5 f4 you know g5 the normal uh, pawn pawn avalanche which uh, arises in the classical variation so uh, many times you can see black also striking on the queen side and um, f3 consolidating and uh, this looks good for black so I don't know where's the magic in this knight a6 move but there's definitely something something going on there and well here also g5 is pretty good for white so it's not as common as h3 but um, the most common move is not always the best so and let's look at another response for black there's also moves like just knight c6 or c6 uh, pawn move or knight b to d7 but a6 looks looks pretty good c5 with b5 intentions and yes it's a pawn sacrifice but now black queen uh, gets in the game and also the bishop and uh, knight <laughs> so black uh, white seems quite undeveloped here and uh, so i guess a simple move like a6 could also work so yeah there were some maybe unconventional ideas uh, in the upper box system it's um, quite rare maybe maybe you won't you won't face it but it's good to know anyway thanks for watching take care